Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. My name is Albert Tan from DownloadSilo.com. Today, this session, I'm going to teach you or share with you how to write short form copy using Shortly AI. So you can see here, I have listed down uh, today's agenda, but I will go through it very quick. It was uh, how to write short form copy using Shortly AI on the following topics. For example, first one is a website copy. Second one is an email. Third one is a report. Fourth one is letters. A fifth one is conversation between two person. Number six is a dialogue between two person. Number seven is debate between two person. Number eight, speeches. Could be a weekly speeches or ordinary general speeches. And number nine is a personal bio. And um, the last one will be real estate listing. Okay, without further ado, let me start uh, our session now. Okay, so, okay, I forgot what we want to start. Okay, website copy. So this is for digital marketers or maybe agencies who want to write some FAQ or landing page hero text or maybe press release for yourself or your for your client's uh, website. Okay, let's start with FAQ first. Okay, we already in the shortly AI interface and let's see what we have here. How to write an FAQ. I will slow down. Okay, that is this one. Okay, the important thing is about writing all these short copies, <coughs> I would say a short copy, <coughs> sorry, will be give a very good uh, instruction to shortly AI. So this is the instruction. Instruct, write some FAQ for the website. Okay, so I have tried some of them over here and this is the output. Okay, uh, for your information, retargeted, uh, retargeted, is actually a website for a short link uh, producer and also you get used to retarget whatever uh, customers that yeah, you're visiting your website. So this is what I have written uh, using the Shortly AI, but never mind. Let's see, we can uh, reproduce this again. Just copy, control C, let's put a triple slash to cut off whatever that is not uh, uh, not asking shortly AI not to read whatever that is above the triple slash over here. Okay, so let's copy this uh, FAQ instruction. It's a simple instruction, but very powerful. Control V, okay. So after this uh, con uh, slash command, at the end of the closing bracket, we just click right for me and see what is the outcome. Okay, let's go. Once you press the right for me, the cursor will be spinning, thinking that the uh, GPT-3 AI is working. Okay. This is what they, are, they have been. Okay, this is the output. So the FAQ, the first one is how does retarget kit work? Okay. And actually, then what kind of uh, content can I retarget my visitor with? So this is the example of uh, the output. So you can see that the earlier output, we have more. What is retarget, retarget kit? Uh, who is it for? How does it work? And how do I get started? So you can always you no know, regenerate whatever uh you can regenerate as many times as possible and choose the one that uh that is suitable for you but most important thing is uh this shortly ai can actually give you some very good uh, faq example for you to write uh your copy okay so i will not go into detail further because it will take a lot of time so let's finish our our agenda first Okay, second one will be 
landing page hero tags. What we, uh, for example, you have a client uh, ask you to redesign your website, uh, redesign their website, and you need to change some some text of their existing website. You can always use this method. Okay, we call it landing page hero text. Let's go to the menu. No, let's save this first. Okay, save. Then let's search for the hero text. Okay, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, this is the hero text. Okay, this is the instruction. Uh, instruction is write a landing page hero text for the URL here. So, for example, I always uh, use one or two URL to test. So, this is the instruction that I have. Okay. And below here, these are the examples that we have already written. Okay. So, for example, uh, over here, the first website is actually retarget kit, this one. The second one is actually a, a website called Closest Copy, which is actually HTTPS closestcopy.com. So this is the output. Okay. You can see that you are writing a very short hero text uh, for, for you. So it's very good for landing page hero text. And you can keep on regenerate the, the text as you want and copy and save whatever that is uh, written and make some edits or amendment to check the facts. Okay. So, and the other one, uh, under this uh, web page land, uh, landing hero page, we can also ask them to write some subheader text for maybe some short paragraph, very short paragraph. For example, this. Okay. Write a subheader text for this URL. Okay, and you can use any URL, existing uh, URL. And for example, I have tried this subheader text for Elementor. Okay, and also we can try this subheader text for the target kit. So for example, now I want just to demo to you. We just use this hero text again. I mean, this uh, main instruction. Copy. Paste. And we have... We are ready to go. So, and see what the landing hero page, uh, landing page hero text it is. Okay. Write the instruction here. Put your cursor at the right place and write for me. Okay. The moment you click, it will roll, uh, spin and spin and spin. Okay. So, this is the hero text that has been, uh, what it called, uh, produced. Maybe. You can use this or you don't have to use this or you make some amendment. Maybe we can just uh, redo. Redo means regenerate again. Okay, maybe we regenerate again. See what is it all about. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, this looks better. Okay, let's scroll down. Okay, actually, this uh, web page will actually tell us to, I mean, let me write the instruction here just for everybody's sake. Uh, landing page hero text for this main website, uh, the home page. So, it actually explain what is uh, retarget kit. So, retarget kit is a new tools, blah, 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 everything. Okay. And how does retarget thing work? Okay. So, this is how we do uh, website landing page hero text. Okay, let's say we want to do a subheader text for the same website. Copy. And do again. Write a subheader text for this website. Okay, so as usual, we just click right for me after the command, the instruction command. Okay. Nothing happened. Okay, let's start again. Okay, just press right for me now. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. Let's say undo. Right for me. Mm -hmm. No good. Okay. So yeah, this is better because the uh, subheader tag is supposed to be very short. So example, they, they produce this a better way to retarget. So that is good. Let's put the command here. Okay, let's do another one. Control C. Triple slash. Okay, write another subheader text. Write for me. Hopefully, it come up good. Okay, so not too bad because uh, the subheader text is here next gen ad text service okay but we further give you some what they call uh, expand the text for you okay this is how we do this uh what they call uh subheader text okay and then number three is called press release uh press release sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it works so i call it hit and miss so maybe uh, shortly ai has not been trained on that yet but nevertheless let's check what it can produce. Let's go to the spot. Let me save first. Okay, let's look for press release. Press release. Press release. Okay. Okay. So I have two examples. One is retargetkit.com, the other one is darklock.com. Maybe we just try this again. Okay, the instruction is very simple. Just write a press release for the above. But before that, you must, uh, what do you call, have something on, uh, what do you call? Okay, for, sorry, uh, write a press release for the URL or maybe uh, a sub, what do you call, some text already or product description, sorry, how to say, okay. This is the product description that uh, we get it from, yeah, from the website. Okay. Let's copy the product description first. Okay. Actually, it's already here. Retargetkit.com, everything you need for your affiliate marketing. Okay. Sorry. So I already read pre written. This is the one that we get it from the website. And this is the uh, instruction. Okay, just press right for me and see whether how's the press release. As I said, the press release uh, instruction might not be giving good result. So let's see whether this one is good. Okay, let it please come up fast. Okay. Yeah, this is not too bad. Actually, it's quite good. Okay, so okay, this is the text they have come up. Okay, so we put press release retargetkit.com launches provide an all in one platform for affiliate marketing. Okay, then it describe what is a website launch this week and offer a quick technology and all these things. So, this is an example of a, what we call a press release. And of course, it has not finished writing. So, if you want, you can actually continue to write for me or maybe write a few more sentences to complete your press release. So basically, it gives you some inspiration on how to write a press release. Sometimes a customer asks you to write a press release for their website, you are at a blur, you know. So hopefully this uh, shortly AI will help you. Okay, next, let's go to the emails. Okay, shortly AI can give you a lot of uh, email. Uh, sorry, this is fast. A lot of uh, email you can write. I have tried so many and it's never stopped uh, amazing me. You know, you can write thank you email, warm up email to request feedback, a warm up email to request reply, follow up email after an interview, you know, and an email sales letter. Okay, this is quite, quite useful because uh, most of the time you will have to write email sales letter based on IDA copywriting format or pass PS. Okay, let's say 
we go into shortly AI and see what we have written and try to write some email. Okay, email, email, email. Okay, you can see some letter there. Okay. Okay, thank you email. Just now we say so the first one is thank you email. Okay. The instruction is quite simple. You give an instruction that saying that write a thank you email to who and who, you know, or after doing what, you know. So this is the the so-called template or recipe. Okay, this is what we have written, dear customer, and all this thing. And this is another another email. So perhaps we would rewrite again as a shortly I to rewrite. Okay, copy paste. Okay, write a thank you email to your customer after he has bought a software SAS from you. Okay, just click write for me. Okay, this is a very short one. I'm glad that you have decided to purchase and hope you enjoy after signing up. I will send you confirmation email and all this thing. Okay, maybe we redo. Just click redo and see what happened. Okay, yeah, this one is better. Yes, dear so and so, I'm so excited to hear. Okay, this is very good. Click cross. I'm so excited to hear you have purchased our software as AS. Thank you for having a faith in us and I hope you enjoy using our software, blah, blah, blah. And if you have any question about our login process, please be sure to let us know and all these things. Okay, well, I will be happy to help them. Okay, so warmest regard and your name. Okay, this is a thank you email. Just save it. The next one will be warm up email request for feedback. Let's go warm up email. Okay, this is the one. Okay, maybe you have a, a scenario where you have a, organized a webinar, you know, and a prospect has attended uh, recently. So as a warm up email to get connected with the customer or the prospect, you can ask for feedback. And this is the email that uh, we ask the shortly I to write. Okay. There are actually few instructions. Okay. Say asking I me. Mean, okay, there are actually few I have, have written here. Just uh maybe I just uh yeah the last one. Copy. Okay. The instruction is write a warm up email asking for the feedback. For feedback for the webinar, the prospect has attended recently. Okay. End of the closing bracket. Click left hand side, write for me. Maybe about 10 seconds or 5 seconds. Okay. This looks good. Hi. Thank you so much for attending my webinar last week. I really appreciate your feedback and would love to know what you thought of it. Please let me know if there is anything I can do to improve in future. Okay, you have to sign off. Thanks, Susie. Okay, this is how we give a command to the to Shortly AI and ask for the feedback. You can ask for a lot of things. For example, here. Okay. Okay, maybe this is the product demo. Copy. Maybe I put here again. Another instruction. Huh? Okay, product demo. We try again, see whether it gives a good result. Triple slash so that to cut off whatever uh, context above the instruction. Okay. Instruction is to write a warm up email requesting a reply from earlier email asking for opinion on the product demo. Okay, that because the customer has not replied. So write for me. Shortly AI, hope you are doing well. Okay, I think he has finished.
Okay, let's say this is quite good. Okay, I mean, surely I ask for feedback. Dear so and so, I got your email about the product demo and I'm interested to hear what you think about it. I hope you don't mind that I contact you again. In the meantime, have a nice day. Okay, simple uh, email asking for feedback. Okay, save. Let's go to the next email. Uh, okay, just now we have done read feedback and the reply, then follow up email. This one for people who are looking for a job after the interview. Maybe, okay, let's go. Interview, interview. Interview. Okay. First, you must uh, specify what type of email you are writing. Uh, it's a follow-up email. And what is the event after an interview for a copywriter job? Okay. So, simple instruction. Copy. Try to regenerate again. Okay. Let's give instruction to shortly to write a follow-up email after an interview for a copywriter job. Write for me. Wait for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Hop. Hello, copywriter. How? I think this is no good. Bad. Okay, redo. Hopefully, this one will be good. Okay, this one looks better. Thank you for taking time to sit down with me to chat with me. I would love the opportunity to work with you and are confident that my skills as a copywriter are perfect for this role. I would like I would be delighted to help out in any way that I can, either by answering any question or providing my resume for review. I look forward to hearing you again. Okay, this is good. Let's save it. Save. Okay, the next email will be email sales letter based on IDA or past format. Okay, let's go. This should work because uh, IDA and the past has been understood uh, by shortly and I many people write it. So maybe they have uh, already done it. I mean, I, I, uh, shortly uh, has actually mastered the skill of writing IDA in a uh, past format. Okay. So, okay. This is the sales letter that we are going to write or email sales letter. Let's copy this one. Okay. First, you must write a product description of what your uh, product it is. So then you write as a uh, Shortly, I to write an email sales letter in IDA format for the above. So this is the product description. Okay. Dark Lab is actually a unique WordPress. Sorry, it's the wrong spelling. WordPress plugin to give you a dark mode to your website. This one I copy from the website. And the dark mode is a new trend in web design. It helps your website visitors spend more time and eye-pleasing reading experience. Also, Improve visibility for user with low vision and those who are resensitive to bright light. Like maybe we can just write darklab.com. I mean, just to, for, for people you want to check out this website, you can. Okay. Write for me. Okay. Come out, come out, come out. Okay, let's see what it says. Dear Webmaster, do you feel like your web design is too bright and a distraction from the uh, content? So this is actually getting the attention of the uh, the reader of this email, sales letter. Okay, then he explain. Dublab.com has a perfect solution for you. Oh, arouse the interest of the reader. Simply install our plugin in your WordPress and all your pages will turn to a dark mode. In addition to an aesthetic appeal, there are many benefits for turning your, uh, your site dark. Okay. So sometimes they 
this uh, what I call shortly will not complete uh, what I call writing for you. You can actually go back and go to the last sentence and press continue and write for me. Okay. Let's so let's see what you say. Write for me. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So you complete the bullet points and I uh, ask you the what you call the for when, okay this is explanation of where this is a what is the plugin for and the last is uh, okay sorry let me see yeah uh, this is uh, IDA format okay so you actually tell you these are the desire you know the desire then this is the action okay ask you don't delay get the ducklab.com not come uh today so you can see that this email sales letter actually follow the ida format okay so let's save this one okay sorry save okay in actual fact you can do the same for a past format you know the problem agitation and the solution format for the above you can just try it for yourself. I'm not going to do it. It will take some time. Okay, let's go to the next short copy. Okay, this is a report. Report, I think I, I go later. Maybe I go to a letter, some funny letters. Okay, letter request for money, love letters, cover letter, apply for job, uh, resume, bullet points. Let's see. Okay, let's go letters. Okay, love letters. This is uh, interesting. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, what they call a short copy AI writer can do this. For example, copy AI, niches and all this thing. So simple. I mean, if you are lazy or do not know how to write love letter, this is one of the way. For example, write a love letter to my wife or husband. Okay, let's say the wife, thing to wife on Valentine's Day. Write for me. Um, Valentine's Day. Oh shit! Okay, my love. The hours and days of our life goes by, but I always want to be near you. You're my favorite person in the world. I love you so much that I'm not sure if it's truly possible to put my feelings into words. And what would be the point? Words never convey how deep my feelings for you really are. For you, for you, for you really are. My life is better because of the way that you change things for me. And I can't imagine a world without you in it. Wow. So touching. So let's save it, you know, and you can always regenerate if you want. Okay. Let's say, okay. Love letters. Wife, birthday, wedding, anniversary are almost the same. So we go for the next letters. Let's scroll down. Scroll down. Okay. This is uh, our application, job application. Okay, the instruction is quite simple. Write a cover letter for a sales manager, a currently a sales manager, applying for a new job as a CEO of a big multinational company. Call maybe IBM, you know. I just uh, copy. Okay, so this is the earlier I do an experiment and it's come up quite good. Let's try it again. Copy paste. Okay, write a cover letter. So sometimes people applying for a new job or changing career always had uh, add a lot of how to write a good sales uh, so called cover letter for applying for a job. Okay. And a good sales, a good cover letter will get attention of the interviewer. Okay, let's try it right for me. Scroll up, oh, finish. Let's scroll down. Okay. This is a very short uh, 
uh, letter. Dear employment manager, I'm writing to apply for a new position of CEO of IBM. I hope to have an opportunity to showcase my skill set and experience as a sales management specialist in order to be considered for this position. My proven leadership skills, strategic insight, and the dedication make me a valuable member of your team. Most importantly, my work ethic is unmatched in very large scale operation. I'm looking forward to hearing back from your offer as soon as possible. Sincerely, your CEO candidate. Okay, this is a very short letter. So earlier I tried to uh, give a, a few sentences, but I continue to write here and actually write a very long letter. Okay, so let's save it. And go to the next one. Uh, apply for job. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. Resume bullet points. I mean, sometimes you have to write your resume, but then you have to come up with uh, your bullet points. Okay. Let's see how we do it. Resume bullet point. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. Okay, let's try this. Okay, the instruction is like this. Write some bullet uh, resume. This is important. This word is important, resume. Write some resume bullet point for a fresh graduate applying for a job as a computer, a programmer in a bank. No, you can always change, you know, right? For a, a sales manager applying for a job as a, a CEO of a company or whatever. Okay, so let's try. And you can see that these are the bullet points that they uh, suggested for you. And we try it again, see whether it, it, it will be there. Okay, let's go. Right for me. Few seconds. Okay, that's it. Yes. So these are the bullet point, you know, uh, applicable to the computer programmer job. So impeccable mathematical skills, familiarity with programming languages like Java, PHP, C++, and SQL, experience in numeracy slash mathematics related subject matter, one year work experience as computer programmer for a bank, knowledge of computer networking and security protocols. Okay, these are the some example of the uh, bullet point that you can write in your resume. Some bullet point. So, see how good is uh, shortly AI in producing resume bullet point. Save. Let's go to the next one. We have so many to cover. This one covered. Okay. Letter request for money. Oh, okay. Let's say I I do this out of fun. Let's let let's discover the I mean take out the, the letter. Cover letter letter letter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't find the letter. There it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, university student asking the father for monthly allowance. Okay. I mean, you can write a letter to an organization asking for donation or whatever. This is uh, how you, you ask uh, shortly AI to, to write for you. Okay. I'm last. Okay. This is, uh, we tried before. So now we ask him to write again for the same topic. Right for me. Let's see what the outcome. Okay, but this letter look like a uh, not for a father, but maybe for an organization or maybe for some other people, you know. Okay, never mind, you can always change it. Uh, dear so and so, you know, I'm coming to you today to ask for help. I'm a college student who needs some money allowance to, in order to sustain myself. 
they enjoy school and wanted education in order not to rely on uh, given to, to my birthright. Okay, maybe you are writing to a charitable organization. So please help me with five hundred dollar per month so that I can continue my education and get through my degree program comfortably without any worry. Thank you for taking time out of your day to day life and reading this letter. I hope we can come up with a way that we are both comfortable with arrangement of providing support for my tuition fee as well as blah blah blah. Okay, so you can actually continue to write and see what they say. Let's say we try it for the sake of uh, today's session. Okay, you finish it as well as any other you know, that may arise. Sincerely, you know, David X Ramos. Okay, so this one is not relevant. Let's get off. Safe. Okay, what is the next? Uh, okay, conversation. Conversation. These are interesting uh, conversation, dialogue, and debate between two persons and speeches. But we go to a more interesting thing will be number nine and the personal bio and the real estate. Okay, we jump around first. Okay, personal bio. Personal bio. So I have uh, tried all this and I find it useful and hopefully that you can find uh, this uh, instruction or slash command useful for you as well. Let's say personal, personal bio. Okay, real estate first. Okay, this is especially good for real estate agent or maybe your client is a real estate agent. Always ask you to write some product, uh, property description or real estate uh, uh, listing. So I have come up with two instructions. Both is equally good and you can use either one of them. Okay, for example, but of course you must give uh, what you call the description of your property. For example, this land area, one acres, how many bedroom, how many bath, fully furnished car park for 10 cars or what. Uh, good environment, beautiful gazebo. This is all I come up with. Uh, I mean, imaginary uh, description. Okay, let's say we just try. Okay, uh, write a real estate listing for the above. Write for me, simple. Give them some bullet point, they will write a, 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 some listing for you. Okay, so this is a very short one. Located at one acre of land, this stunning property has six room, eight, uh, six bedroom, eight bar, blah, 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 and all these things. Okay, if you're not happy, just re we can always write again. Okay, okay let's say copy that again. Control C. Triple slash, control V, okay, write again, write for me. Oh, they are repeating itself. No. Okay, maybe we change to this. Real estate listing, maybe a real estate property decision. Actually, both is good, but sometimes AI is doesn't load the wording. Okay, let's try. Write for me. Okay, this one looks better. A better uh, description. Short description, few sentences. A unique opportunity to own a one acre plot of land in the heart of Ahmedabad. Located just next to Botanical Gardens, this property has all the necessity uh, necessary amenities for a modern lifestyle. You will be just minutes away from everything, school, clubs, shopping center. This is an offer you can't refuse. Not too bad. Maybe we just continue to write, see whether he, you, he will include some of the description over there. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. So interior amenities, 
the entire house is fully furnished with the top of line appliances and uh, fixtures and six bedroom each and the end suit eight bathroom blah 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 you know stand on the elevator lot with a car park for 10 cars you know then they ask you why buy this property okay the plot is just you the next to the famous botanical garden in Ahmedabad that's excellent okay don't waste any time let's go to the next one okay personal bio okay this this is interesting personal bio Sometimes you need to write a personal bio for maybe for a webinar, if you are a host or a speaker, or maybe for some other publication, you know, if you write an article. So you don't know how to write. Not to say you don't know how to write, maybe you want to write a creative bio. So that would be easier. Sorry, let me go down further. I think it's already over. let's see okay number two sorry yes there are two ways uh, you can write a personal bio from the third person point of view or the first person point of view first person mean yourself i third person mean say he you know that kind of word okay for example i just uh this is i just do a fictitious uh what i call description of uh of myself okay okay albert tan ceo of download silo.com lifetime deal addict university of bab uk a morning dogger two boy two girl and a lovely wife computer gig like traveling around the world xgm of multinational company okay instruct them to write a creative personal bio for the above from a third person point of view let's go okay so this is a very short one okay he has been described as a serial deal dealer holic who likes to jog in the morning oh he come up with a new word you know lifetime deal called dealer holic he went to school in the united kingdom to learn more about computers and is now the ceo of downloadsilo.com a company that he made with a partner from his university days okay not too bad let me uh Try another one from the, this is third person, from the first person point of view. Control C. Okay, same description. Control C. Just now we write uh, third person point of view, he. Now we say first person, I. Okay, let's see what it goes. Okay, this is too short. Don't like it. Redo. Mm -hmm. This one become a third person. No, bad. Let's go. Redo. From the first, first person point of view. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this one is better. <laughs> okay, this is a bit long. I'm a computer game who love traveling and all the places. Okay. Maybe we write again. Oh, we can't because the cursor is no more. Maybe we just write here. Write for me. See whether he, he will come up with some other interesting facts. Okay, yeah, he expand the, uh, what I call, uh, okay, these are something that is uh, extra, you know, so never mind. So as you can see, we can always use these two command or recipe or whatever you want to call it template to write a personal bio from a first point of a first person point of view or from a third person point of view. Okay, the next one will be personal bio real estate and okay we still left with uh 
conversation between two person and dialogue between two person debate between two person and uh, number eight speeches with three okay you still left with this uh this this few thing okay number five number six number seven debate dialogue between two person conversation are almost the same so we just pick one okay maybe uh, we just put debate Debate, 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 yes, show me the debate, okay, so this is interesting, uh, instruction is to write a debate between two politicians on why everyone should be vaccinated for COVID. 19 okay so the first one is yes this 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 politician agree that you know it should come here and the second one is no okay this is the previous uh, uh generation that i've done control c do it again you see whether what kind of a debate happening Debate between two politicians on why everyone should be vaccinated. Okay, vaccination is a preventive measure to help somebody. Okay, proven to over one study, you could even get them from someone. Okay, maybe we don't like this. Redo. Okay. This one looks better. I believe everyone should be vaccinated for COVID-19 because it can lead to death and will be administered in the form of a shot. So it can be spread by sneezing or droplets. Okay. A lot of people are against vaccination because they are afraid of leader and some don't want to be vaccinated for their children. Okay. So not very good, but you look at the point but the first one I, that i i did so this is a better one okay so maybe we try again and see what uh the ai do control c because shortly ai is unlimited token so you can try until the moon come down or <laughs> you can try unlimited times and there's no uh ex no no limit for it Okay, let's try first. Right for me. Okay. This is maybe it looks okay. Okay, got argument one. Vaccination is a necessary measure for public health. Okay, but very short. Argument two. Vaccinating can give you cancer. Of course, the facts is not right, but then this is something that you know you can think about how to phrase your debate as a title maybe let me write again let's see what uh, shortly i come up with okay these are the uh, debate answer you no know, for person a i think the definition of outweighs any risk so the second person say the risks are too high for any burden to take. Too many people will get sick due to this vaccination and will, will die because of it. Okay, so this is how uh, we write a debate. Let's see the next thing that we want to do. Okay, okay, we now is uh, 49 minutes already. So I think I want to finish it in within an hour. And this is uh, the next one is a uh, speeches. You can write uh, different type of speeches as well. Okay, let's go for speeches. Speeches. Scroll down, scroll down. Speeches, speeches. Okay. 
for the fun of it, yesterday I tried this, you know, right. write a victory speech for President of America on his inauguration day as a new president. And this is the short one, you know. So let's try today. Copy. Actually, you can write any topic, you know, maybe a, a, a welcome speech uh, for for the president of the new company on his appointment of this uh, uh, company or whatever. So, but for the sake of uh, today's session, we just use back this uh, command. Right for me. Okay, this is very short. We just put okay. The journey to White House is now complete. I am deeply honored and truly humbled by this amazing legacy and take a humble metal of uh, now with great pride. Maybe we write again. Write a little bit longer. Write for me. See what it says. This one looks better. Okay, so there's some politics involved inside. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can see that, you know, uh, this is how uh, AI, actually AI write this speech. Okay, let's go to the next one. What is the speech? Maybe a general speech? See, I'm not sure whether I have this general speech. Let's see whether you have it. Let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, this is the general speech. Okay, the. You must write uh, what call, well, the instruction is very simple. Write, write a speech on a topic. You know, you explain the topic here. Okay, let's copy. Okay, the instruction is write a speech on vaccination of COVID nineteen for elderly people over sixty years old. Write for me. Oh, take some time. Okay, so this is quite good. Hello, my name is so and so. I have a message I want to share with you. It's about COVID nineteen. Blah blah blah. You no, know, explain what is it all about. Of course, the facts you have to what they call a. Uh, check the facts and also some grammar or whatever because uh, shortly AI doesn't know that the facts is right or wrong okay so because these sentences has not been completed uh, this sentence so we just continue okay so as you can see the facts are not right no COVID-19 is new improved version of existing version which include tightness toxic so sometimes you have to check the facts okay so let's save it for reference okay this is uh okay we left with a few dialogue between two person and conversation between these two persons so we just finish off it fast and we call it a day because it takes almost an hour already let's say we Okay, okay, okay. This is interesting. Okay, write me a conversation in angry tone between a customer and salesman about the non delivery of the office parcel. Okay, so this is what I have written earlier. Let's try again and see whether you can give another answers. Right for me.
okay, you can read that the this is something like a, a dialogue on a conversation between the customer service and the buyer. I just ordered this parcel and I'm not getting it. Then the customer service asking, what's the tracking number? I don't know. I just, it's just I ordered yesterday that I checked. Okay. Because this is the angry tone, you know. So, okay, come down, sir. The order was shipped to a different location. It's not my fault that my parcel was sent to a different location. You should have been more careful when shipping out parcel and you should have contacted me before sending them. You know, you see it's the tone. Okay. So we can always continue to write if you want to. Maybe we just press write for me and see what it says. Okay. So this guy is apologizing. Sir, understand your concern, but please calm down. We have the same parcel in our log. It was sent to a different address, but we don't have the name of the customer or his residential location. Oh, the customer is angry. What? Yes, sure, you can check with your log, but I don't think that you will find here. Okay, so this is how AI can write a conversation like a story for you. Okay, I think we are having the last one. Dialogue between two person. Okay, maybe I'm not too sure what we've written. Let's see what I have written. Dialogue, dialogue. It's going down, going down, going down, going down, going down. Okay, this one is a dialogue between reporter and politician on COVID-19 vaccination. Okay, check for switch. Okay, this is a dialogue between reporter and a politician on COVID-19 vaccination. Write for me. Okay, the reporter say, what are you saying that the vaccine is bad? The politician, I'm saying that I want to protect people from the, these diseases, not expose them to more of them. <laughs> Maybe we just continue. Right for me. Okay. So, what are you saying that? Because you have been, I was trained and because it's the correct thing for me to do. Because a lot of, uh, People who died from the virus and will be terrible to undo anything. <laughs> okay. So this is how uh, uh, the dialogue between this uh, reporter and politician. Okay. So that's it. I think this is what I have for you guys today. And I think I have uh, missed out one. This is the report. Yeah. Maybe I just go through it, the final one report. This is the accident report. Okay, accident report. Let me see. I think it's down below. Down below. Ah, yes, here. Okay, the instruction is write me an in accident report about how a car knocked down three men after losing control on Jefferson Road this morning. I mean, I wrote this for fun, but then. Uh, Look like maybe it can be a reporter or can be a, a, a somebody investigating the report or the accident. Let's try. Right for me. Okay. At around eight morning this morning, drive running down, it hit three men, knocked down the ground, the three injured. I think the local hospital it looked like a look like a police report. Okay, we continue. Ask him to write further. Okay. The three men were taken to hospital for treatment but no serious injury were reported. The name of the person not released, but they are in their 20. They were riding together in the same car, 2002 White Dodge Neon. Okay, so different artists similar. Okay, 
This is measure mixture of multi multiple elements from recent post. Okay, this is irrelevant. Let's delete it. Okay, maybe we just write the last sentence. Okay, the car on the other hand, badly damaged and all this thing. Okay, so it's not too bad. So I have also heard that he might be drunk. Okay, so I think it's enough for now. And thank you for staying up until now for the last one hour. And this is how I come up with some recipe or maybe instruction how to write short form copy using shortly AI. And you can see that there are about 10 short copies that uh, you can write using Shortly AI without any other sweet templates, but just use some command and a product description. Okay, if you have any question or you want to contact me, uh, just uh, contact me in the downloadsilo.com website or Facebook group, or I will give you the contact detail after this video. And if you want to buy shortly AI, you can always uh, use this link. Okay, HTTPS download tylo.com go shortly Okay. Download silo.com go shortly AI. So this is my app list. And I'll see you in the next uh what I call uh training or maybe videos. Bye bye.